So what we're going to do now is measure the speed of sound. And the way you measure the speed of sound is you can measure how far it goes in a known uh, length of time. And so we're going to have it go a distance that, uh, that we know. So we're going to have it go from me over to Lori over there. And so what I'm going to do is give this thing to, to Lori. And you're going to hold it in the beam of light here in a second. So I'm going to turn on the beam of light. Now we're going to measure at the same time light and sound. All right. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to start recording. And then I'm going to just take this thing and interrupt the beam. Okay. Now on the, on the screen, uh, I'm going to zoom in on this thing. Oops. And I'm going to zoom right around. So what you're seeing up here is the light uh, was measuring two. That's when the flashlight beam was hitting it. And then very abruptly, the light went away. That's when this uh, piece of wood slammed down in front of the flashlight. So it took an instant for this thing to actually cut off the beam. That's why that's not a perfectly vertical line. All right. And so let's zoom in on this a little bit so that it looks a little bit more steep. There it is. Okay. Now we can zoom in a little bit more because uh, we also can measure how long it took the sound that made, that made quite a lot of sound, to get over to where Lori was holding the IO lab. So let's zoom in like, oops, that was too much zooming. All right, so let's look here. So right there is where the, the piece of wood hit the, uh, hit the desk. It's where the light goes to zero. And so now I'm just gonna select the region between there and when the sound reached the IOLAB device. So right here, that delta T you see, 0 0.00628 seconds, that's the amount of, that's a difference in time that it took the light to get to where Lori is and the sound to get to where Lori is. Now the light doesn't take very long, so we can ignore that. Um, but the speed of sound is about a foot per millisecond. And so this is six milliseconds and between 6.4 milliseconds and between here and where you are is probably eight feet or something like that. And so what that means is I should zoom in a little bit more and be a little more careful to when the sound actually started. Oops. Uh, but you can see that, there we go. So let's do the analysis a little more carefully. So from there to where the sound started right there. All right, so that's actually eight milliseconds, eight feet, so the nice thing is, even being only eight feet away or nine feet away or 10 feet away within the uncertainty of this experiment, uh, you can measure the speed of sound to 10%, which is pretty cool. If you did this experiment all the way down the hall, then you would get the speed of sound to fantastic precision. And we've done that experiment as well. And now you get to the point where you can actually see how the speed of sound changes with temperature and humidity and things like that. <laughs>